that's pretty good as far as uh, driving these things since it's so stiff. I spoke too soon. I was gonna. I told you it's a twin this man. It's it's rough, you know. Just uh, just press the red button. No power steering. So what we got going on, Julius? What we gonna do today? What we gonna do to this thing? We're gonna do the hood, the roof, and the trunk. That's what's up, man. Since we traveling quite a bit on this car, you know, the sun just kind of sits on it a lot. And uh, too. so if I break down and stuff, you know what I mean? Y'all people out there are gonna help me out work on wrenches on the car. You can put stuff on the roof. It's not gonna damage the paint. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got it here at the Performance Auto Spa, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna get beast molding up in here on this thing. So I'm gonna show you guys the steps, and then record this as uh, he's doing this process. Yeah, buddy. So we got Julius up in here going beast mode on his Jay's racing hood, you know what I'm saying? With that PPF up in here. He's like, why'd you bring this car back to us? Why'd you bring this car back, you know? I like to work on Teslas and Porsches and Ferraris. Man, always glad to see this coming. He's like, I like to work on Lamborghinis. Not at this, don't like to work on this old junk, old cars, <laughs> Mickey Mouse, you know? This is what you don't see every day. That is true. Are you going to be here for the show on Saturday? No. Oh. Yep. This is awesome. I can't wait to have this hood on. It's going to give it a nice shiny glass, you know what I mean? That's, that's yeah. what kind of the roof and the trunk is like. Man, I kind of want to do the whole car. Watch, I'll come, <laughs> come back. I'll come back to the next show. It's like, hey man, let's do the, the door and the quarter panel now, you know? Tim is like, hey man, we're no longer friends. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's coming along good, huh? It helps with the turbo, you know what I mean? With the, this hood, you oh, know, yeah. hit, hit escape for yeah, sure, you know? Say, unless they keeps it cooler, I bet, by sure. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the hard part right here, just kinda. Yeah, this is the part, cause I'm not gonna like make a relief cut or anything, so. So this has to, have to, has to be worked worked slowly and slowly, you know? Yeah. To get it, get it going, you know? Good thing about the hood, once it's done, we can just take the hood off and put it outside, you know? Mm -hmm. And let it sit in the sun, you know? Yeah. Since it's removable, you know? Sweet dear, looking good. What do you think, Josiah? I think it's amazing. So I like this hood better than the other one. It's so easy to remember your name because my son's name is Josiah. Is you it know really? that? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, Josiah awesome. Vasile. Josiah Vasile is that's my middle awesome. son. That's crazy. And then I have no Ali, so that's why it's so easy, you know, that's to awesome. remember your name, you know. Yeah, dude, this hood definitely sets it off, for sure. Beast mode. Even though Della cracked it, Della, if you're watching this video, you cracked my hood, Della. I'm still not happy about that. Did you ever see that? Did you ever see my story? I, I put it on Facebook. I put it on Facebook, did I? I or Instagram? <laughs> yeah, I'll show you guys here in a did second. Did she sit on it? No, she. I had it uh, next to a little mini fridge I have in my garage, and she tried to kind of move the hood to get to her candy, and the hood just oh. flang. You know what I'm saying? Just went like kabam. Oh no. You know? That's. Not going on. Uh, it's coming. A, it's coming along very nice. Yeah, yeah, the amount of gloss that it's gonna give you. So cool. Yeah, beast like, mode for sure. It looks like freshly done, you know. Yeah, dude, I love this hood. This is the. They have another one that it doesn't have it like that, you know. It's and actually it's like blanked in the middle. Yeah, actually, I have one that actually it's um it doesn't have it coming like this. I think it's um um uh what's you call it? Uh, I think it's just flat right here, and it just got like a small hook. I have to look it up. You might have to Google it actually, you know. As you can tell, guys, this hood is so glossy. I mean, look at the wood. Look at this. Look how nice. Everything just kind of folds. There's no cuts. It's all one piece. Look at the sides. 
I mean, you can never tell this hood is wrapped, right? Look at that. Somebody look at this. Now we're doing the doors. Thanks to Julian. He's like, yo, man, as much as you drive this car, you definitely might as well wrap the whole car, you know? Mm. So, yep. Now we're working on the door. Next is going to be the quarter panel. We got the roof done. So let's check out the roof. Look at that. It looks awesome. All folded down and everything. Can't even tell it's wrapped. Got the trunk done. Look at that. Somebody look at this. Somebody look at this. Julius, somebody look at this. Julius would be like, hey, wait a minute. I'm the one that did it. I don't need to look at it. Uh, I've been looking at it since I... So... There it goes, guys. Beast mode up in here. And you notice there's like uh, scratches and stuff, you know? It's from the film that that just heals, you know? As it stays in the sun and it just kind of... It's kind of like a gel in a way, right? Yeah, so now I have the the bumpers done, the front lip, the mirrors. Uh, we're gonna fix something on the bumper. The bumper was done by somebody else locally in Arkansas. Uh, so we're gonna fix the bumper. The fenders were done here. The, uh, the headlights were done here, the mirrors. Pretty much everything except uh, the bumper and front lip. Uh, this is very hard. It's a very hard bumper to do, so we just have to like cut it, so we can just lay another piece to uh to fix it from the the previous guy. Uh, even Julia said that the, this corner right here is very hard. So if you put too hard on it, what happens sometimes when he heals, it's starting to come up. You know what I mean? So it's very important that you don't put too hard on it. You know, it just kind of flows. So kind of excited to have the front end complete. And it's pretty much, uh, I could do the back bumper, but there's no need because I don't, it's a back bumper like you're driving, you're not going backwards, you know? And, uh, you know, the side of the car, it's very important, but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you here, the door handles are done, so you can kind of have an idea how the door handles look, you know? Door handles are done. So actually, the door handles are done. This part, this part. And also folds inside here so that's kind of nice yeah look at that roof glassy and it's all folded josiah where are you running I hey guys know, we're here at the auto spa performance i'm here with julius the master that's behind right. the scene and uh hey guys long story short is uh um we wrapped this front in how long ago was it uh like a couple months ago a couple months ago we did the fenders the headlights uh the mirrors and the oem hood which is uh back home in arkansas uh we here at the columbus ohio performance auto spa we came back and we we're originally we we're gonna wrap the hood that's right. kind of what the plan was and julius was like Man, I mean, this car, he used to have actually a DC2 Integra, uh, but cir circumstances, uh, he had to let go of it, and he regrets it to this day, and uh, he fell in a way, he kind of fell attached a little bit to this uh, this car, seeing the build and the history behind it, and what I've been through it, and they said, hey man, uh, I think yeah, it'll be a... Value yeah, so I was like, <laughs> hey man, uh, I see how much pride you take in this car, I see how much work he put into this car and he already done so much work i was like you know uh, as much as you travel with this car i think it would be a a good investment that maybe you should just wrap more than just the front end and then we just kind of adding one panel so we started just doing the hood and then i was like maybe we should just do the roof and then the trunk and uh he's like hey julius <laughs> and then julius like hey daniel man i might as well just finish the whole car wow. you know do the coral panels do the pillars do the doors um the trunk and all that stuff and then we had a uh the bumper was done by somebody there locally in arkansas and as you some of you guys don't know they don't make a pre-cut kit for this dc2 so all all you did here was all hand cut custom. Yeah. hand custom so the whole wrap on this car it was custom uh can you kind of walk us through a little bit the film the warranty yeah. and 
the, the a little bit about yourself if you don't mind since you <laughs> you started way 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 back then and i mentioned yeah. this in my previous videos you know you started back in 98 doing the clear bra and then uh well back then was with 3m now it's a uh, xpel uh-huh uh the ultimate clutch very nice product very glossy self healing uh compared to what we had before it's definitely much much better yeah you can see the glossiness it's yeah, very, very and here's here's the other thing too. A lot of people, it's not just actually protecting your paint; it actually like covers any imperfections in your paint. Like, like my car when I paint and I walk you guys this way right here, I had some scratches and stuff here on the coral panel when I actually I painted the car. And then if you look at the car now, it's like it's gone. You can't even see it. It's not that I'm trying to cover like imperfection. It's because you know I'm not a painter by any means, but. Yeah. Uh, the film also makes your car glassy and it hides more the imperfection is that it was not there the only thing we left off on this car is the rear bumper because actually the bumper the rear bumper does not get any rock chips it's all all the way in the back and it's also it's a very hard piece to do and also more money to add on on top of that so uh but julius has done a phenomenal job on this this car right here uh i'll say the hardest part probably on this deal is probably the the hood the hood, the hood is very hard so yeah, the hood we did not even use really cut on anything, so... Yeah, so as you can tell, this Jace oh, Racing right. Calm Fiber Hood, it's actually one piece. There's no pieces cut. It actually, yeah, it, it goes, it goes over, it goes over, it goes over here. It's all one piece and it's, it's wrapped under. As if you look over here really closely, you cannot tell a line. There's a lot of people that does this kind of film where actually they cut it right at the edge, but this does not look like it's being cut anywhere it looks like it's original com fiber hood and then he actually showed me a car before when i was here last time that he was working on and then he's like uh yeah i'm doing this ppf on his car and i'm like yeah i'm like done with his half of the car and i'm like done i'm like <laughs> i'm looking at this car well not my car it was some other car i'm like wow like that's amazing you can't even tell there was nothing on it <laughs> it was nothing on it so that's to be said is like the PPF is by far. A lot of people misconcept the uh, ceramic coating with um, PPF. Yeah. Ceramic coating, it will be like protecting your paint from debris and stuff like that. More of like a show car if you don't like drive it daily to kind of like keep the shine, but you still have to pull wax. You still have to buff over time and stuff like that. But this right here, it's a uh, self curing. So it's like if you get a scratch or something, it will come back to its natural shine. Yeah. And it doesn't take much to like get the shine on it. You pretty much, you can just throw some water on it and just wipe it. That's it. Much easier to take care, to maintain. That's right. So as you can tell, I'm walking you guys through this whole thing. So we did the pellet, you can tell. And I'm gonna show you guys, you cannot tell there's any cuts in here. Look at this smear right here, the pillar. Even this right here is folded down, so you cannot tell, even the roof. You can tell how glossy and shiny that is. I know the lighting is not all that great here. Same thing over here, the trunk, same thing, it's all wrapped under. Back over here, same thing. Like I said, we just left the back bumper because it's just no need for it. And I'll just have to take more stuff off of it to make it work. The gas cap, it's wrapped under. Like, you will look at my car, you will not, like, wow, you missed something, you left something there, you left something there. Uh, door handles, it wrapped under to it. That's another piece right here that actually, when you, when you are uh, um, opening your car, Sometimes you can get a, what do you call it, a scratch it up. So it actually helps real nice. Now the car has been in the shop for two days. So it actually hasn't been outside to cure any imperfections. But just kind of want to show you guys the glossy look of this uh, film. And it looks so much shinier. Look at the hood. Look at the front end on this. It's, it's just crazy. Crazy how clean and shiny and glossy it looks. And now it's easier for me to wipe the car like. You know, I'll go to a gas station or something. I just take some water and just wipe it and done. You know what I mean? Car is done. So worried again. I mean, at yeah. the show, you won't be so worried. People I'll, touching your car. Yeah, fingerprints practice. everywhere. You know, I just take my shirt and I'll be like, yep. done. You know what I mean? And also, not just that. Even when you wipe it, it's so much easier. Like the cloth, it just kind of flows very smooth. Where actually in the paint, you can kind of feel it's rough. Right. It's it scratches it. It takes away from that clear coat. So. Yeah. No when you wipe it definitely like you will never see any kind of like let me show you here the difference real quick since we left the back bumper if you look at the back bumper right here a little bit you can tell 
you can tell a little bit there's like some kind of see that there's some kind of scratches small you probably kind of won't take it but on this you see nothing i mean you will never see like any kind of scratches like that so for me to take that off i have to pull like some kind of compound and uh take it off and stuff so again guys uh ppf is the way to go as far as you know protecting your paint and your car and you know this car right here i just put so much work and money to it i mean it's it's way worth it you know what i mean and i'm so thankful for performance auto spa uh, especially julius he's the one that done the work and uh he's he started way 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 in the back in the day he even told me like they used to put this film back in the aeroplane blades they weren't even putting it in the cars helicopter blades helicopter blades that's what it was yeah. you know what i mean and, and now i mean uh they're putting it into cars and stuff like that a lot of people out there don't don't even know about this stuff and uh it's way worth it you know what i mean if you really love your car and you build and you want to protect it as much as i drive this car it's way worth it so julius man i really appreciate you, Thank you. if you guys have any questions want to bring your car in make sure you follow performance auto spa on facebook instagram uh, or if you have any questions feel free to uh, dm me uh vasile garage or just comment down below on this on my youtube channel and i'll be more than happy to put you in contact in, in fact I was originally thinking to just ship the hood to you guys. I was like, dude, the amount of money that I'm gonna spend on the shipping there and back, might as well just drive the car down. And I'm glad that I did that. And now I was able to just actually, he convinced me to just finish the whole car. So the whole car is done. So again, Julius, you did a phenomenal job. I'm very thankful for that. And uh, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just speechless. I mean, cause you know, I love my car, man. I just put a lot of work and money in this thing, you know? And I wanted to, I want the best for the car. You well, know what I mean? Enjoy it, baby. And then sometimes, you know, money comes and goes, but then it's way worth it in the long run. Like I'm, I'm way, way happier now that it's, cause I'm, I always knew there was a little imperfections in the paint here and there. And this actually helped it to kind of cover that too. And it gives it a one solid look all the way across from the front all the way to the back. Yeah. And it's always going to have that glossy look. You're never going to see those curly scratches on it. It's always going to have that glossy look and it's, I always loved it. When I cleaned the car, I'm not going to lie. I know I'm never going to finish this uh, video. <laughs> when I was cleaning the car, not even lying to you, I'm like, every time I cleaned the fenders, it was like so nice and so smooth. Easy. And then I moved to the doors and I'm watching, make sure I don't scratch nothing, you know? <laughs> so now I'm glad that I just finished the whole thing and it's... No more worries. No more worries, for sure. So Julius, you're the man. Thanks. You know what I mean? Appreciate Thank you. you. Okay, you guys. Performance Auto Spa is the, is the spot if you want to hit them up. Those guys, they have... A lot more installers are here. As you can tell, we got more another guy right here working on the BMW. We have another guy working on the Tesla. So, uh, but Julius is a more of an old school. And now that those guys are not good, but Julius is like, hey man, give me the Integra, man. I want to do this. You know what I mean? This is all custom, you know? So I appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys.